always checking to see if there's something in the back because my house is a kind of a little bit of a mess right now because I've been away like all week because of work and other things like for example a Green Day concert and um, birthday parties and pizza parties and everything so it's been a very busy week and it's now Sunday and I need to charge up for tomorrow because we will just continue. Last few weeks of the year in the school season is just insane and I've worked in different organizations and it's always the last few weeks it's just very busy but hey that's what I signed up to do so just keep pushing a little bit longer and then we'll have a holiday and five weeks of relaxation time but anyway I decided to do a little bit of an update because in my last more informational video I talked about the testosterone level and I explained that it was perfectly in the middle and I thought that would be okay and it is the testosterone level is okay but after an appointment with the UMCG with the hospital we decided to up the doses a bit because there is on one hand the testosterone level and on the other hand is the female hormones also if you hear some kind of zooming in the back like some kind of bee or anything it's the TT races in Austin this week and I live very close to the racing circuit so if you hear any then it's probably the TT so I'm sorry for that but anyway um, so the female hormones are a little bit high so because of that my cycle hasn't stopped and although I'm not noticing it there is still a cycle and to stop that they thought it would be good to up the doses of testosterone a bit and I was like hmm do I want that because I'm, I'm feeling good and I don't really want more fluctuation in my emotions and everything and I decided to go along with it just because I'm curious what would happen if my cycle does stop or are the effects going to kick in faster what will happen so it's kind of like hmm, I, I'm feeling good but I'm also kind of curious what will happen and I'm not expecting major changes. I've been upping the doses for a week now. I'm, I do notice some stuff that I'm like, hmm. I'm, I'm just generally more tired, which is also what I experienced when I first started testosterone, but that's just the first week. It's like my body needs to react to a different dosage and it's that's very tiring for my body for some reason. I heard some people say that, oh, after the first dosage, I've got so much energy, but I'm my body reacts like, wow, what the fuck is this? Slow down, I, I need to regain my energy. So that is probably the first two weeks that will happen and then I will feel better. But the thing I do notice is that I'm aroused more and that's kind of the, I, I think that's kind of the effects when you up the dose. So I need to um, get used to that. Um, emotional wise I don't really know because I've been busy the whole week so I need to see if, if w what is going on with that I'll put on I don't exactly know the amount I'm taking right now I'll put it on screen before and now and like I said if I don't feel good I'll probably switch back to the first doses yeah it feels weird because I think a year ago if someone would told me to up the doses of testosterone I would be like yes because I want to have it quick and every change and I as much as I can and um, now I'm like yeah okay but let me see how I feel about this I don't really care about the numbers and I don't want to have as much as I can. I just want to feel good and that's a major change, I think. And I, it's a much more relaxed way of thinking, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
It is raining outside, so probably Pika will want to come in in a couple of minutes. But she insisted to go outside, so... Can you hear the music? I don't know. It's... Yeah, you can probably hear the music. This is from the TT camping, camp spot, camp place, camping area. I don't know how you call it in English. Um, but it's basically on the other side of the highway, which you could see in the previous footage. So you'll probably hear it on the camera. And it's fine. I got a little bit irritated by people just placing their cars on the grass just in front of my house and everything. And I was like, why? I mean, it's cheap. It doesn't cost anything. And I'm like, yeah, you're, you're completely ruining the grass here. But all right. Anyway. But what I wanted to show you is that I finally bought a new camera and it's not a video camera yet. You can shoot videos with it, but it's mainly a photo camera because I want to learn more about taking photos and everything. And I searched on the internet for a while and I was basically looking at the most expensive cameras and then I was like, yeah, but I'm kind of a noob with this. So why would I buy the most expensive full frame camera if it's not necessary? I mean, I'm not a professional and I'm, 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 I'm just a beginner. So I thought it would be a good idea to start off with a secondhand Sony A6000. It's a very old model. I believe it's about around eight years old. And I, but I got this with the kit lens. Uh, this is not the kit lens, by the way. This is a lens I got a week after it because it has a nice zoom just to, yeah, to, to, to play around with it a bit and i'm very happy with it and because it is second handed and it wasn't that expensive i take it with me more than i would do when i would buy a very expensive full frame camera or uh, just a very expensive camera it has some scratches already and that means that i am like i'm careful with it but i'm i'm using it instead of just looking at it like oh it's so expensive it's actually kind of nice that it doesn't have the newest functionalities because it really pushes me into learning the basic stuff more instead of doing everything automatically. I'm like, all right, I need to figure out how this works. It doesn't have a touch screen. It doesn't have a flip screen. So I'm like, kind of like, yeah, figuring out how things work and everything. I even bought a, a very cheap lens, which has a manual focus. This is a 50 millimeters 1.8 F. And I'm, I'm not really sure what that means yet, but I know with a lower aperture, you can get some bulky, blurry backgrounds. And this is a great portrait uh, lens for that, but it's manual. It doesn't have autofocus. So you really need to manually um, focus it, which is kind of a challenge, but it's nice enjoying myself with that. And that's also going to conclude the, the update, I guess, because I didn't do a lot. And I found out a friend of mine has COVID, so I need to see if I have COVID myself, need to do some tests and um, I hopefully not. If I don't have it now, I still haven't got it. I, I've never gotten COVID before. So if I don't have it now, I'm like, I think I'm like a superhuman. I don't know. I'll do a test. I'll let you know.